Most people today are familiar with the story of the Titanic. But just in case, let's go over the basics. The name Titanic derives from the Titans of Greek mythology. The full name is the RMS Titanic, and RMS stands for Royal Mail Ship. The Titanic was the largest passenger ship in the world at the beginning of the 20th century. This enormous ocean liner was designed by Thomas Andrews and built by Harland and Wolfe, built in Belfast, Northern Ireland. Titanic was a British registered ship operated by the White Star Line that was owned by a U.S. company in which famed American financier John Pierpont Morgan was a major stockholder. The construction of Titanic was started in 1909 and the ship was launched on May 31, 1911. It then began the fitting out phase as machinery was loaded into the ship and interior work began. After the Olympics maiden voyage in June 1911, slight changes were made to the Titanic's design. In early April 1912, the Titanic underwent its sea trials, after which the ship was declared seaworthy. A gross carrying capacity of the ship was 46,328 tons, and when fully laden, the ship displaced, weighed more than 53,000 tons, and was nearly 30 meters wide and 270 meters long. The steel plates of the external shell were fastened by about 3 million rivets. Coal is burned down below and the smoke comes up the funnels. Only three of the funnels are used for the burned coal smoke. The fourth funnel is helpful for ventilation. Towards the front of the ship, you can see the crow's nest. It is used as a lookout point. The Titanic also had several electric cargo cranes to help with loading and unloading at the docks. The funnels and the masts holding the wires to the radio telegraph system were above the level of the upper deck. The communication system consisted of two individual Marconi radio telegraphs, and the captain's bridge was located in front of the first funnel. The Titanic had three massive propellers underneath the water. The power plant of the Titanic consisted six boiler rooms and a total of 29 boilers. The first three funnels, you can see how they are connected down below to the boilers. Now let's move to the engine room. Inside the room have two reciprocating steam engines. Each engine is four-cylinder one steam turbine which drove three bronze propellers, two three-bladed propellers on each side, and a four-bladed propeller in the center. The turbines and steam engines had a combined output of 50,000, produced a speed of over 22 knots, or 40. The Titanic had 10 decks. Each deck has its own unique name. Cabins for the third-class passengers are here towards the lower decks, and here's where the second-class passengers are. And the first-class passengers got to stay on the highest decks and have some of the best views. The Titanic was referred to as an Olympic-class liner. There were three of them, sometimes referred to as sister ships. The Titanic sunk because of an iceberg, and then the Britannic sunk after hitting a mine in World War I. The Olympic, however, had a fairly successful career of about 24 years. All three sister ships were almost identical. Just a few details were changed on the inside. On April 10, 1912, the Titanic set sail on its maiden voyage, traveling from Southampton, England, to New York City. Nicknamed the Millionaire Special, the ship was under the command of Captain Edward John Smith. The ocean liner carried some of the wealthiest people in the world, as well as hundreds of emigrants from Great Britain and Ireland, Scandinavia, and elsewhere throughout Europe, who were seeking a new life in the United States and Canada. It was the largest and most luxurious passenger ship of its time, and was reported to be insinkable. The ship carried only 20 lifeboats, four of which were collapsible. The 3,500 passengers of the luxury ship were served by a crew of about 900. 
Most passengers set sail from Southampton, England. Then it picked up a few more passengers in France, and then Ireland. Then finally, set sail across the ocean to New York. But Titanic never makes it. However, on the fourth day into her journey, at 11.40 p.m., on the 14th of April 1912, she hit an iceberg on the Atlantic Ocean, broken two, and sank two and a half hours later. The total number of people who lost their lives in the disaster was up to 1,500 according to certain sources. It is still the subject of much debate. Who was or were responsible for the loss of the Titanic? The tragedy has inspired numerous books, films and works of art over the decades since then. Thanks for watching the video. For more videos, subscribe to my channel.